Hi, I'm Josh with Tech Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to use P-Touch Editor to print off uh, barcodes using the P-Touch device from Brother. So pretty easy, just download and install P-Touch. I'm sure you can figure that piece out. We'll go to the new layout. And what we're going to do is go to, uh, and I'm working with uh, version 5 I believe, insert barcode. And uh, there's a couple different barcoding formats. If you're going to have letters and stuff in your barcode, uh, you'll probably want to use code 128. I think that's the most flexible one to use. So today I'm going to make a barcode for a switch, uh, just so I can scan the serial number. Let's pretend, uh, we're playing pretend here, that uh, the serial number fell off of it or whatever. So I'll just paste it in here and basically you know, make sure it's on code 128. If it's not on code 128, I go to protocol, change it to code 128, and then go OK. Now, I want to have the serial number print out right below because, to be honest, I can't really read that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I can go ahead and make that happen by automatically uh, just like it is. Or uh, go back to properties, go to setup, and uh, uncheck uh, show characters to remove it. Go back to properties, check characters to show it. And I'm going to go ahead and center it, so uh, it's a good thing I got in there and do that. So pretty easy, and then I just go to print after I have my uh, P-Touch already hooked in and drivers installed, etc. And I'm going to print it out. So if you can hear that, that's printed. Okay, I got my printed barcode. I can go ahead and make sure it actually works. Let's go to uh, Notepad. Use this thing to scan it in. There we go, and it works. My $20 scanner takes about a year and a half to scan. Now, that's not all. One of the cool things about this is you can actually link it to a database, and what I'm gonna use is the Ames database, and print out barcodes directly from there. Uh, pretty much as much as you want in sequence. So I'm going to go to my example back end, open, next, and got to sort of know the structure of aims to figure out where you're going, but table equip is where all the serial numbers are actually located, next. And uh, basically I just uh, go over here and tie that to whatever the uh, barcode is going to be tied to. Okay. And from there, I can go ahead and filter this out, show all of my switches. So I want to do SW, and uh, we'll go begins with, and OK. And basically from here, I can check off what I actually want to print out. I believe there's a way to highlight them all. Okay, maybe not. I, I can't remember. And basically I could print that out all in sequence. Now let's say I'm a commander and I don't want people coming out and you know printing out their own barcodes because I, I don't want them sticking them on something that I'm pretty sure is not that device and trying to trick me. I can go ahead and uh, create a little curly cue or something here and uh, we'll go ahead and shrink this up a little bit and this is the first time I'm actually doing this, so it's just sort of an idea. Let's see if this actually works. So we'll play, take that and uh, name it Signature, and we'll see if we can add it to the back end of this uh, thing here. So I'll go to Image, and uh, go to, from File, Let's see if we can find it. Okay. And there it is, and let's see if this prints out correctly. All right, I want to print out everything, hold on. And sure enough, it did print out that signature uh, image on there, so I can identify it as a barcode that I essentially printed. Uh, some other cool things you can put on here, let's see if we have it. Let's say I want to put the Descript ID on there. I just go to uh, right mouse click that, merge into layout, and uh, let's go ahead and add it to uh, text. Oh, I 
and choose the descript ID and it gets on there. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And you can actually play around with this uh, for you know adding in information about the device such as this. You may want to get uh, one inch tape uh, rather than the half inch so you can get it all in one one column essentially so that's pretty much it thank you for watching have a nice day